Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to be a hardware review, which will feature Simpsons The Duke. And this is the Duke one in Best Badger. The soap, which I'll be using, is going to be Mammoth Soap's Almond Leather. The razor is going to be a Mike Martinez. This is a Peacemaker. And we're going to finish it off with the matching splash. So let me get my face wet and we'll get to talking about the brush here. Now, Simpson comes to us from across the pond over in the UK. And <clears throat> this year is actually their 100th anniversary of being in production, which is very cool. Um, Simpson was started by none other than Alexander Simpson in 1919. Uh, and it was originally located in London. And at some point during uh, the early 40s, I believe, um, it was their production building was actually destroyed. Um, and they ended up relocating. Now, fast forward to more recent time, um, Simpson was actually purchased by Volfix um, in 2008. So those two brands kind of merged together and Simpson eventually relocated to the Isle of Man. So I'm just gonna get loaded here. Now Simpson, as, it, as I've just mentioned, has been around for a hundred years now, which is pretty remarkable in my opinion. And I think it just tells to the, the quality and um, just the success that it's, it's had for such a long period of time. Um, people that have enjoyed wet shaving over the last century um, have clearly enjoyed this, this brand and the products that it offers. Now Simpson uh, offers a very wide variety of knots, especially as it pertains to badger knots. And I just probably loaded that for about 30 seconds or so. Um, we'll see how, how this does. And really the, the knot options that you have vary from, you know, they offer synthetic knots now, um, but really the badger knots are what they're most known for. Um, and that can vary from um, down to your lower grades, like your pure badger brush to the best badger brush, which I'll be using today. Um, what they're probably most known for is their super badger uh, knots. And then additionally, they also um, will, uh, for limited editions, they'll offer these other silver tip um, options or in Mancharian. So really a, a, a wide variety of knot options in terms of badger knots. So again, so this was about a 30, 40 second load here. Um, I really, I went with Mammoth today because it's a fairly easy uh, soap to, to lather up. Um, this best badger, uh, this Duke one in particular, um, sports a 19 millimeter knot. So this is very, very small in comparison to the average knots that you see, which are probably anywhere between 24 to 28 millimeters. Some obviously going to 30. Um, so this is quite small and I will immediately tell you off the bat that I would absolutely classify this more as a travel brush. This isn't necessarily one that I would use at home um, or, or daily for that matter, but this is a, a, a great brush and we'll, we'll see how it goes as, uh, as we go through the shave. Now, in terms of this Best Badger knot, it is quite soft. Um, I did have it soaking for probably just a couple minutes um, due to the fact that this is such a smaller knot size and you know there's not nearly as many uh, hairs in this brush as, as opposed to a 24 or a 26 millimeter. Um, it really didn't take too long for, for those hairs to loosen up. And I can tell I need some water already. <laughs> but um, 
once it's been soaking, it really is quite a soft knot. Uh, as some may recall, it's been a little while, but uh, I have experience with the Super Badger hair as well. Um, that was a chubby two that, that I've had. And in comparison, I would say that the best badger is not nearly as dense as the Super Badger. Now, I can't really do apples to apples as far as the, the Duke one and the chubby two because there's a substantial size difference in terms of you know, just the, the knot size and handle size and all of those factors. But in my experience, the Super Badger is, is much denser. But in terms of the actual backbone, I would say that the backbone is, is a little bit closer to, to being similar. Um, now, what I will also say is that I believe that the, the loft, especially for such a small handle size, um, you know, th this is probably more of a, a what I would call a painter. Um, this isn't exactly one that I sit here and, you know, continuously build the lather with like I would most other brushes, but you can. And it has no issues as you can see. And I will actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this. There we go. So I would 100% say that this is a great travel brush option. Now, given the Simpson name and the fact that these uh, come to us from overseas, they are a little bit pricier, but you really are paying for some of the best quality brushes that are on the market today. So you absolutely know what you're getting in terms of a Simpson brush. Simpson is, is very proud of maintaining tradition and hand tying their knots and turning the brush handles, the, the entire process. There we go. I think that's pretty good there. All right, so I have about a day and a half worth of growth, so we'll get this going with the grain. If anyone has experience with Simpson brushes, I would love to get your thoughts on them. I think really the most, uh, the most iconic ones that you'll see out there are the chubby offerings. The chubby one, two, and three. And really there's, there's no mistaking Simpson brushes as they have the iconic ivory colored handles. They do offer other limited edition brushes, as I mentioned, in, in different sort of resins, but really the, the ivory is the most iconic along with their sticker. There we go. First pass down. Now the, the Duke that I'm using uh, also comes in three different sizes. There's the Duke one, the Duke two, and the Duke three. And the 
handles and the, the numbers go up um, as far as the knot sizes as well. So the Duke one that I'm using is 19 millimeters. The Duke two is 21 millimeters and the Duke three is 23 millimeters. So what I'd say is, as you get towards the Duke three, the Duke three would be more of one that I would consider um, one that you could use daily for, for your shaves at home. You could also use it for travel, but once you get to those bigger sizes, you really don't want to have to um, bring those brushes that really require more of a drying time or that would potentially take up more space in your luggage. And now additionally, what I will say too about this, this particular brush, the Duke One, being that it's smaller, um, I do have to on occasion reload the brush because it will, um, it, it is very good at releasing the lather. But I definitely wanna make sure that I still have sufficient coverage and protection on my face for the rest of the shave. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. We'll see how this goes. See if we can build this back up just a little bit. Yeah, we got the water in there. So although this lather is a little bit thin, I still can tell it's well hydrated. There's still a good amount of slickness in there. But in the event that you have a thirsty soap that really requires more water, this would probably not be a good brush for you either. Um, you know, soaps, Soaps like, uh, what I'd say, like Barrister's Reserve. Um, just soaps in general that require a, a ton of water because being that this is not as smaller, it doesn't hold nearly as much and it's gonna take you that much longer to, to build up your lather. So just keep that in mind. All right. Second pass against the grain. Simpson does offer uh, travel containers as well for these smaller brushes. So if you are in the market for a, a nice travel brush such as this one, they do make those containers. That will ensure that they don't get damaged or or lost in a bag when you're traveling It really is just a, it's a great, great travel option. And Simpson offers a very, very wide variety of handle shapes as well. So if you're not a fan of the chubby style um, or the, the smaller brushes, they do offer longer handles. Their uh, M7 shape is quite an iconic shape as well.
they really do a great job of, of covering um, and offering a, a variety of different options. An interesting fact uh, about Simpson is being that they're on the Isle of Man, they, uh, they actually do take a couple weeks off uh, late spring, early summer for um, the Isle of Man TT, which is a uh, very famous motorcycle race. So that course goes right right by the by the factory. And so other than the major holidays and other holidays that they celebrate in the UK, they do end up taking a couple weeks off around that time frame. Very, very smooth, very comfortable shave. No complaints whatsoever. We just rinse off and we'll get some splash going. Matching almond leather splash. It's got some great skin food in here. Let me give it a good shake. All right. Not much sting. Really smooth, very comfortable shave. I really can't complain with that. So let me rinse this brush out here a little bit so we can get a better look. <clears throat> All right, so still got to rinse out a little bit more, but. Um, Really nice brush, the Duke. This is a, one of their more popular shapes, I feel like. Um, again, a lot of different options. I think Simpson is just a, a classic brand that you really can't go wrong with. Um, you get what you're paying for, you know what you're paying for, and it's really of, of the highest quality in terms of, uh, of brushes and, and they're not options as well. So uh, if you haven't checked them out before, um, or giving them a go, I would really, I would really advise doing so. Um, they really are fantastic brushes, and again, a ton of options. So you're bound to find something that will call out to you. Um, and again, in terms of the Duke one, which it actually does say the Duke back here, I did not show that. Um, this again, I would consider more of a travel brush. So uh, Simpson does offer containers. Um, additionally, I've seen some people use. Um, you know, smaller uh, empty pill bottles to, to store these in for travel, which is another great cheap option. So um, really can't say enough great things about the brush. I really, really enjoy having this one. Well, that's it for me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed that review. I know I did. And I look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.